What up peeps? Welcome to today's video. Today I am going, uh, leaving the game store right now. Abby and her friend are here. Um, they're gonna be here while I'm gone. I'm going to get my birth certificate. I have to go to the vital records office in Portland since I was born in Oregon, not in Washington. Uh, so I'm going to do that. Um, and then someone just went into the game store. Uh, so I'm going to get that and then I'm going to try to get my, at least go submit all the paperwork and everything to get my passport. Uh, I need to get that taken care of as soon as possible. So I'm gonna try to do that all today. Um, I don't know how long it's gonna take, but eventually I'll be back at the store and we will take a look at whatever was traded in and all that kind of stuff. So let's just jump into it. I'm in the elevator right now, heading up to floor number two in this big building. This clip may be super windy, maybe you can't even hear me, but I exited the building after getting my birth certificate and I tried to like go back the way that I came and I couldn't find it. So it took me, I took the stairwell and like exited out of the back and I have to walk all the way around back to, up to the parking lot to get my car. But got my birth certificate, so now I'm gonna be heading to the post office and submitting all my paperwork to get the passport. Downtown Portland. Portland is kind of weird. I'm driving in the same lane as like this max bus thing that's on the rails. <laughs> I'm not from Portland, I'm from Vancouver, so it's always weird when I drive in Portland and I, you know, stuff like this happens. So I'm at the post office right now. Um, I went in, waited in line for a little bit, um, talked to someone. I didn't have to wait through the whole line, luckily, but um, they kind of walked out and asked, you know, if people are doing any pickups or anything, and no one came forward, and I was like, what about passport? And even though the sign says that they accept walk-ins between 9 and 2 p.m., she said that they don't, and she was kind of rude about it, which sucks. Um, so apparently I have to go online and make an appointment to do it. I tried to do it on my phone, and it is not working. I select the earliest date that it will allow me to select, but then it says pick your appointment time, and all the times are for today, not the date that I selected, and it won't refresh, it won't do anything, so... I'm going to have to wait till I can get to a computer to do it because I was just going to sit in the parking lot and try and set one up. But So that sucks. Um, I'm going to make a couple more stops before I head back to the game store. I need to finish up doing a little bit of Christmas shopping. Um, <clears throat> so might as well take care of that while I'm out. Um, Abby's called me a few times with some questions, but so far no one has traded anything in. As far as I know, she didn't tell me. Um, but yeah, so... Sounds like, you know, they're doing all right there, and I'm going to go do some more Christmas shopping, and once I get back to the store, set up this appointment for the passport, and hopefully I can do it as soon as possible, because apparently it sounds like there might be, like, government shutdown um, coming soon, so I gotta get it done. Abby called me and said that she really needs me to come back to the store, so I'm cutting my shopping a little short. I actually didn't even get to do any Christmas shopping. I was driving by that store buybacks, and I went in and talked to the manager and bought a few more games for the store. Um, he's such a cool guy. But, yeah, I was going to be heading to, I don't know, like Target or Walmart or someplace like that. Maybe even just Fred Meyer here after that. But Abby called me. She's like, you need to get back here right now. <laughs> so I'm heading back. Uh, it sounds like there might be a couple people who are trying to do some trades. So I'm right down the road. It's, I'm, I'll be there in 10, you know, oh, red light. <laughs> so I won't be there in 10 seconds. Um, but I'm heading back right now, um, so Abby needs my help. All right, guys, so I'm at the store now. Um, it's been a few hours, and I haven't vlogged. Um, when I got here, the reason Abby wanted me to come back so quickly is because um, there was a lady here who her husband, I, I was supposed to know who he was, and um, she wanted to get a couple games for him, but um, I didn't know him by the shortened version of his name, um, I don't need to say who it is, but um, basically Abby didn't know how to help her with what she wanted and uh, it turns out that the games that she was trying to buy for her husband for his Christmas presents, he came and bought the other day. <laughs> so she ended up getting something else for him um, and then 
there were a couple trades that Abby took in while I was gone. So I'm going to flip the camera around. We'll go through those. And then I will also show you guys what I got from buybacks because that's where I was when Abby called and told me she needed me to come back. I was over at buybacks getting some more games for the store. And then we had one guy come in about 20 minutes ago and trade in a Super Nintendo game that is... It's got a cool story with it, but it's also a really rare game. So flip the camera around. Let's take a look. So these are the two trades that came in. There was also an NES zapper gun. Um, I already got them in the system. I put the zapper gun down there, but we also got a Soul Calibur 2 for Xbox. These are already priced because it was such a small bundle. I was able to put it in pretty quick. 1942 and Mega Man 3 for NES. Then Yoshi Safari and Mario is missing for Super Nintendo. Price tags are on the back because they're cheaper. And then my buddy Luke brought these, another Heart of Darkness and Galerians. He found both of these at the Goodwill outlet uh, today. And he sent me some pictures of these and some other games. And I was like, oh, I'll definitely, you know, take Heart of Darkness and Galerians. And he's like, okay, cool. I might come by today or tomorrow and drop them off. And then he walked in like half an hour later. So very awesome. And then I went to buybacks. I picked up this NFC trip reader, uh, factory sealed actually, and these things, I've had a couple of them now, they're pretty expensive on Amazon, so this is probably going to be going on there. Then we got the Warriors for PS2, Conflict Zone for the Dreamcast, and Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, pretty hard to find GameCube title. Then a kind of faded Mario Kart, Final Fantasy IX, Crash 2, Crash 3, Pokemon Ultra Sun, and Captain Silver for the Master System. And the last game, guys, the one that was just traded in, I'll tell you the story first. So uh, we got a phone call, and guy said, hey, I was just at GameStop. Uh, they told me to call you guys. I have a pretty expensive Super Nintendo game, and I wanted to see if you guys would be interested in buying it. And I was like, yeah, what's the game? And he told me the name. And I was like, yeah, I mean, as long as you, you know, I'd have to see it in person to make an offer for something that expensive. Um, and as long as you're cool with me opening it up and verifying that it's legit, you know, I'm definitely interested. And he's like, yeah, that's fine. Um, can I come right now? And I was like, well, yeah, of course. And so he got here in like 10 minutes or so. Um, there's a GameStop a few miles down uh, Mill Plain, which is the main road out there. Um, he was at that GameStop. And this is the first I've ever heard of that GameStop sending people our way, which is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, they told him to come here because it's one of those games where they changed their buy-in price to like a penny to just curb like the bootlegs coming in essentially. Um, so they told him it's an expensive game. And so he brought it here and I told him like, you know, we're going to price this at, at 200 and you know, we'll see what happens. I'll swap the back because the original back, I just put, I swapped it with a copy of Madden cause the back was really, really bad. It had like all sorts of sticker residue and sharpie and rips on it the front's not bad at all i haven't cleaned it up yet i just swapped the back but it was a copy of final fight guy and of course i did verify the board on uh, snescentral.com we also fired it up uh, i had to clean it first but it worked so pretty hard to find game i've never had a copy of this ever um, so that's pretty cool that gamestop referred him to us and What's even cooler is that he's like, yeah, I've got another box of Super Nintendo games at home and he's going to get that and he's going to bring them all back. And he doesn't know what's in there. Obviously, I don't know what's in there, but um, I don't know. He could have something else crazy. Who knows? So I'll definitely let you know if he comes back and hopefully he does because I'd love to see what's in there. Um, I told him if he can come back tonight, that'd be great and we'll see if he does. But um, he wants to get Conker's Bad Fur Day, which we have in the glass case over there. So he said... Um, cause I offered him, I offered him trade credit or cash. He took the cash and said, but when I come back, I'll probably you, I'll probably take trade and I'll get the Conker's bad fur day. So we'll see what happens, but I'll let you guys know if anything else comes in. I have got to give a shout out guys to Todd. He is the newest Patreon supporter. Show some love for him in the comments down below. Thank you so much, Todd. Um, I know I feel so weird every time that I thank a new Patreon supporter because I can't. I can't think of anything else to say other than what I've already said before, but I definitely appreciate it. I don't take any of this stuff for granted, you guys. You don't have to be a, pa a Patreon supporter if you don't want to, but it is there just as an option. Um, thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. I love that that my videos do something for people, and I've had a few people contact me before, and they're like, they're like, yeah, even people that have come into the store 
who watch the videos, um, they've come in and they've told me before, like, yeah, man, I watch your videos every night. It just, I get home from a more stressful day at work and I just get to watch your video and it just cheers me up. And just to hear that is, is amazing. And it's cool that, that my videos are able to do that for some people. And I think it's awesome and it makes me feel like I'm actually doing something more than just filming my boring life. And a lot of you guys will say that my life isn't boring because I have the video game store and all this stuff. But compared to most people who do daily vlogs, my life is extremely boring. And so I'm very fortunate to have any viewers at all and especially to have awesome ones like you guys. So thank you so much, Todd. I definitely appreciate it. So that copy of Final Fight Guy is already gone. <laughs> Um, guy came in, traded in a bunch of stuff here, which I'm about to show you. Um, he got 170 bucks in trade credit, and then he, he used that towards the Final Fight guy, and then also he paid the $30 difference in cash. So let's go through and take a look at what he traded in. So this is it here, guys. First up, we have two PS3 controllers. I think we actually sold our last one. They were in that empty spot right there. And then... We have two copies of Pokemon Gold and a Pokemon Silver. Then we have a big disc-only stack of GameCube titles here. Uh, we'll just go through these kind of quick. There's some decent ones, but nothing like super crazy. So those are all the disc-only ones. Then we have these ones here. That one, I guess, is technically disc only. It's in a fake case. And there's some decent ones in here. Nothing like super crazy. Um, and then we have these as well. And then disc only Sarge's Heroes, disc only Jack and Daxter. And then we have some PS1 and Dreamcast stuff. The Sonic Adventure should sell pretty quick. This one is Men in Black. And we have those. And then there's also some empty GameCube cases here. There are no games in those. Um, it, it may not seem like a great trade, but the value of this stuff is much higher than what we paid for that, uh, that Final Fight guy. So I'm happy with it. I'm happy that it went pretty quick. Um, plus the 30 bucks cash if you want to put that into what we paid for it, you know, that makes it cheaper, of course. And it, you know, it kind of sucks that we just got in a rare Super Nintendo game and somebody traded a bunch of, like, I wouldn't really call some of these filler titles, but they traded some cheaper games towards it. Yeah, there's quantity here. And this is good stuff, you know, I'm not complaining. We need this stuff. But it just sucks to have such a, a hard-to-find game you know, enter the store and then leave really quickly, but <laughs> either way, good stuff. I was able to take the disc only games he traded in, walk over to the wall here, and I was able to grab cases for these three and complete them. All right, guys, I'm at Fred Meyer. Abby's in the car right now. I had her go out there so I could finish doing some shopping. I have a few things in here, but I need some more. So I'm looking around and just trying to see what I can find. I have a couple more ideas, but I need to get all my Christmas shopping done. So she's out in the car. I'm going to finish up here and then I'll head back out there and we're going to be heading home. Here's another outro from the next day, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Today is Abby's birthday, so leave her some love in the comments. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to smack the like button, leave a comment down below and subscribe. And we'll see you guys tomorrow.